Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. What we're going to go over right now is a float placement on your uh, on your pump. Um, <clears throat> when you do this, a lot of people, what we've seen when we're out in the field, uh, is that these floats here are just dangling. I mean, they're all over the tank, moving this way, that way. It's not good because they can get caught on things, um, that make the pump run, you know, longer than it's supposed to. They don't put good enough. Uh, anchors on the uh, pipes we like to put the floats on with the pump uh, where we're at and the reason is is you can take the pump off uh, it's done with a union up top and <clears throat> you can pull it and everything's right there so you know what float goes where it makes it much easier to, to work with so you want this float I've seen these way down here by the suction it's not where you want them you want them up here uh, by the by the opening here of where the pipe threads in and you only want to bounce this much lead which is about you know about six inches here uh, on, a, on, a, on a mechanical float switch the good thing about them is they have to come pretty much all the way up okay and then they click and they turn on and then as they go back down they turn off okay so that's how much water is being pumped out of there and that keeps the pump fully submerged all right uh, you don't want your float switches to be tangled up so you don't want them uh, you know, intermingling, you know, I have a loose float here. You don't want them like this, where they can get tied up or one can get hooked on the other one. So you want them about just like this. So you have that, that's fine. Uh, so if you have a three float system, same thing. You want to space them out evenly. Come up here, here's your alarm. Uh, three float system would be, this would be your override and your alarm would be up here. Um, but that's, that's how you want your floats done. When you put your floats on, use a heavy-duty zip tie. So there are um, things by Rhombus uh, has them, and they have these little clips. The problem with these little clips in a system that has that's chlorinated, which this system will be if it's sprinkling, is this plastic gets very brittle from the chlorine. So it, it just doesn't work, and these break, and then the floats come loose. We just use a heavy-duty zip tie. Like I said, some we've you know been to places where they use a teeny zip tie, and I can literally just break it with my finger. Use a heavy duty good zip tie, then when everything's done, uh, just clip it off there so you know it's nice and clean. You want to run all your wires, you know, make sure they're all nice and clean like that, uh, and that's pretty much it. So you can get any of these floats uh, at our uh, website. There's going to be a link down below where you can just click on it and, and find what you need, and we'll go over in another video. Uh, what floats the floats do this one's just on placement of where you want your your floats at and why so that's pretty much why is you don't want them you know hitting each other or tangling up that's about where you want them um, you don't want them too much lead on there because you don't want the pump to cycle for a long time and that's it so if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them below you can call us too be happy to answer any questions you have and that's it hope you have a great day